Ham Radio. Hello everybody, it's Freddie Mac, and I'm back with another video to talk to you today about AllScan on your All-Star node or your GMRS Live node. I'm not sure if it works on GMRS Live, but we're going to find out. You have used Supermon or Supermon 2 to look at your All-Star or GMRS Live interface. It's to help you see the status of your node, and you can control it, and you can even control it remotely outside of your network those are other videos but how would you like to have something that's a little different maybe give you a few more features maybe not as many features as supermon but some really cool ones we're going to talk today about all scan we're going to install it we're going to set up an extra special feature that another gentleman has come up with another ham and we're going to have some fun today check it out okay everybody here is the all scan website you can get there at allscan.info and what it is like i said before is basically a different kind of graphical user interface to your all star or gmrs live node as you can see here this is my supermon 2 page and of course i can log into it and the control buttons will all populate and you can control a lot of things from right here all scan is put into a separate directory once it's installed and looks a lot like this you can log in and you can see what nodes are currently connected 58176 is connected with 1997 which is my private node which creates my DMR to analog bridge and right here is the control window that you get you can also create extra users for this page if you want separate people to be able to access it you can set your configurations here you can log out and you can let's just say you know the node number that you want to add into your favorites uh, 2462 maybe hit add to favorite and it'll throw it down here in the list and that's WW7PSR Puget Sound Repeater Group in Seattle Washington and it throws it into your favorites list and let's say you've logged on and you're like hey there's my favorites list I want to log right into them you click on it it populates the window I like to hit uncheck this disconnect before connect because it will disconnect my DMR bridge so that's checked by default so I'll uncheck that and hit connect Node two, four, six, two. connected to node five eight one seven six and I can disconnect it just as easily Node two, four, six. Disconnected. And you could see the status is here, but notice down here we've got a list of the favorites, and some of them are green, some of them are red, some of them are black. Well, the green ones mean that they are connected and sitting idle. The red, if I'm not mistaken, believes that they are currently talking. Tell about a problem. We are in contact. Uh, just to let you know, there is GB4S. SPS so Node 5154200 disconnected. And I was right. Now these ones that are in black are private nodes, or these two are private nodes, 1999-1997. They're from my All-Star node. And I assume the black means they are not active. Because this one right here, 576330, that is the node to my mobile All Star node, my Shari node that's in my. That's in my truck right now. And the black ones are nodes that are not currently logged into All Star, or they're your background private nodes like these are. This 576330 is my mobile Shari node that's in my truck. Now, those of you that have All Scan, are probably looking at this section right here and saying hey what what's that ham on y'all what inner talk group what connect what TGIF BM is that brandmeister or medical term uh, we'll get to that we'll get to that here in just a little bit and right down here is a little log of what's been happening going on here's your CPU temperature the time 
node stats. You can restart asterisk from here. You can get a list of keyed nodes, ASL forums, all scan, Facebook page, eHamnet, a lot of stuff here. This is a really neato mosquito looking interface. So let's install it. I've got another node, my repeater node, that's in Preston, Oklahoma. We're going to remote in now and install it and see what happens. Okay, this version is going to look a little crummier in video quality because I have remoted in to my node. It's in another town. But this is the website allscan.info and here is your how-to guides right at the top of the page. Their website looks a lot like their interface once you get it done. So here's the allscan info and download GitHub. That's where I like to start. And it tells a lot about what AllScan is and does, so I suggest you read it. It's really good information. I'm not going to bore you with it in this video. Not that it's boring, it's that hearing me read stuff is boring. This works on the ASL version of AllStar and the Hamvoip version of AllStar, and it installs the same way, but the Hamvoip users are going to have to do one extra step, which it's not that big a deal, but let's just go through it. We're going to log into our node by going into an SSH session, which we have already done. We're going to hit number nine, get to that bash shell interface. And it's one it's just to do a CD tilde, and I think that's called a tilde. I call it a squiggly. And basically it puts you in the root directory, and boom, we're in the root. Okay, so now we're going to do sudo rm all start all scan install update. And what that does is have you remove an update file that's already there, but we haven't installed it, so we're going to skip that session now. But right now, we're just going to get it. We're going to run wget with this command line. Paste it in there, widen that out a little bit, hit enter. And it has downloaded. The next command we're going to run is chmod and this command line here because we need to make that file executable. And that was easy enough. And now we're going to run the all scan installer, which is the file we downloaded. Hit enter. All scan installer updater version, version 1.18 at the time of this video. Web server folder is going to be SRV HTTP. Web group name HTTP. Changing DIR from root to SRV dot uh, slash HTTP. All scan directory not found. That's because it hasn't been created yet. Ready to install all scan. Enter Y to confirm and any other key to exit. We're going to hit Y. And it ran a bunch of stuff. Now it says enter Y to proceed and any other key to skip this step because it's needing to uh, install SQLite 3. And I need to hit the right word, letter. And boom. And it tells us right here once we're done, this is your inside IP address slash all scan when you want to run it, or your outside IP address all scan, which this is not exactly correct because I use a non standard web port for this interface. But we'll figure that out here in a minute. Now we're going to run this sudo remove all, sc all scan install update.php so we can get that out of there. Now, here's the notes for the Hamvoip users. You may need to uncomment, add the following lines in Etsy PHP, php.ini. Make sure they do not have a semicolon in front, which once you remove that semicolon, activates the line. And it's these two lines right here. And I know we need to do it, so we're just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, now we've got WinSCP up. We're going to log into that all-star node and like the direction said we're going to go to Etsy PHP and we're going to look at the php.ini file there's Etsy PHP I'm going to right click edit that 
PHP INI file. And we are looking for extension equals PDO underscore SQLite. So you know me, I like to find. Extension equals PD. Nope. Extension equals PDO. Find next. And that's our area that we want to be in. But we want to do extension equals PDO underscore SQ light. And right there it is. Extension equals PDO underscore SU light. We're going to get that cursor right in front. Take out that semicolon. And then we're going to find extension equals SQ light 3 dot SO. And right here it is. And we're going to uncomment that. And then we're going to save it. Close it. And disconnect our WinSCP session. Now, according to the rules, all we have to do now is change this. See, I've got 192.168.4.202 colon 888. That's because I changed the web port to a non-standard web port. The standard web port is 80, so you don't have to put that in when you type in a website address. But I wanted mine non-standard for many reasons, so I have to put that 888 in there. And normally I'd type in slash supermon2 to get to that interface. But now I'm going to type in all scan. Oh, I forgot one step. We need to reboot the node. So once all that's done, we're going to exit and reboot the system. Okay, now once you reboot your node and you put in your IP address slash all scan, you're going to get this initial configuration screen so that you can configure your users. So naturally, I'm going to add myself in there. I'm going to give myself permission as a super user, but you can add Apparently everybody gets to be a super user. I don't know. My time zone is America, Chicago. <laughs> all right. Now that I've got all that in there, I'm going to hit add user and it will take me to a login screen. I like to click remember me and log in and voila. Hey, do you want to save the password? Why not? Now here's your initial configuration screen. The green is the main node. It is currently connected outbound to the 576-331, the KD5FMU Crusader hub, uh, radioless hub in Henrietta, Oklahoma, which technically it's not in Henrietta. I need to change that. And that is the private node to create the DMR to analog bridge for talk group, TGIF talk group, 319-6188. And you can tell right now that it's being keyed. I don't actually have a radio on that channel right now, and I don't know why. It's a little ways off, but I can still get it in, get into it with my FT5D. Now, it, it pulls the uh, favorites that I already have saved, and it's listed them down here. And you can see this one's talking right now. These are active. These are not. I don't know why these are some of the defaults that were in there already there's the echo link echo test and here's the node control window type in 2462 and hit add favorite and it puts it right down here it's the ww7 psr the puget sound repeater group in seattle washington now it's got to go down the line here you'll start seeing a little dash up underneath each number for that first round and it just goes through and starts pulling them each one individually and checks their status so apparently the east coast all-star hub is talking right now now this is a receive rx percentage i'm not exactly sure what that means and an l count might be uh, a link 
account, how uh, uh, many links it has connected to it. Well, let's just check me here. 576331. Add it as a favorite. And then we'll let it go down through here and scan. says I've got two so let's go over to 192.168.4.202.888 Supermon 2 there's three connections me and two more so the two it's counting on is me and my private node. So that's what that is, the amount of link. It's a link count, I guess. Wow, look at this one. That has 35, the WW7PSR. And that's how you do that. Now you'll want to bookmark this all scan link so that you can jump to it at any time. And I just kind of like to do something like this and you can drag it right onto your desktop if you want to well you can just jump right back into it later that's completely up to you however you want to handle that but like this one here let me disconnect the hub for now as you can tell and as I've as I have already pointed out this node, 57788, is my repeater node in Preston, Oklahoma. And it has a private node of 1997, and it's my DMR to analog bridge for the TGIF talk group, 3196188. And, you know, I've always wanted, somehow, I'm like, you know, I, I from time to time, I would like to change that talk group number. But it's a pain in the butt because you've got to go into DB switch and do the, the config all over again or change the INI file, reboot, blah, 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 blah. Well, let me tell you about this.